Hey guys! I am excited for story time today. Today I'm going to read you one of the best books of all time. It's called Miss Nelson is Missing. This is one of my most favorite books. It's so funny and it's a little bit scary because I'll show you one of the characters. Her name is Viola Swamp. All right, guys, let's get started with our story. Miss Nelson is Missing. Um, this book is written and illustrated by Harry Allard and James Marshall, and it's kind of cool. These guys are from Texas, just like we are. All right, here's the title page. Miss Nelson is Missing. The kids in room 207 were misbehaving again. Spitballs stuck to the ceiling. Paper planes whizzed through the air. They were the worst behaved class in the whole school. Oh no. They are not following the rules. They're throwing airplanes. They're spitting. They're not being kind to their teacher. This, these kids do not know how to act at school. Now settle down, said Miss Nelson in a sweet voice, but the class would not settle down. They whispered <laughs> and giggled while she was talking. They squirmed and made faces at her. They were even rude during story time. And they always refused to do their lessons or their work. Something will have to be done, said Miss Nelson. The next morning, Miss Nelson did not come to school. Wow, yelled the kids. Now we can really act up. They began to make more spitballs and more paper airplanes. Not so fast, they heard. A woman wearing a black dress stood in front of them. I'm your new teacher, Miss Viola Swamp. And she rapped the desk with her ruler. Where's Miss Nelson? asked the kids. Never mind that, snapped the swamp. Open those arithmetic books. Miss Nelson's kids did as they were told. How do you think they feel about this new lady? She doesn't look very nice. They could see Miss Swamp was a real witch. She meant business. Right away, she put them to work. And she loaded them down with homework. We'll have no story time today, said Miss Swamp. Keep your mouth shut, said Miss Swamp. Sit perfectly still, said Miss Swamp. And if you misbehave, you'll be sorry, said Miss Swamp. The kids in room 207 had never worked so hard. Days went by and there was no sign of Miss Nelson. The kids missed Miss Nelson. I bet they feel sorry for the way they treated Miss Nelson now that they have this really mean teacher. Maybe we should try to find her, they said. Some of them went to the police. Detective McSmog was assigned to the case. He listened to their story. He scratched his chin. Hmm, he said. I think Miss Nelson is missing. Of course she is. Detective McSmog was not going to be much help. Other kids went by Miss Nelson's house. The shades were tightly shut so no one and no one answered the door. In fact, the only person they did see was the wicked Miss Viola Swamp coming up the street. If she sees us, she'll give us more homework, said the kids. And they got away just in time. So they're over here by Miss Nelson's house, and the only person they saw was Miss Viola Swamp. 
Maybe something terrible happened to Miss Nelson. Maybe she was gobbled up by a shark, said one of the kids. But that didn't seem likely. You think she got gobbled up by a shark? Maybe Miss Mel Nelson went to Mars, said another kid. But that didn't seem likely either. Do you think Miss Nelson went to Mars or got eaten by a shark? Hmm. I know, exclaimed one know-it-all. Maybe Miss Nelson's car was carried away by a swarm of angry butterflies. But that was the least likely of all. That's silly. The kids in room 207 became very discouraged. That means they thought she might never come back. They were running out of hope. It seemed like Miss Nelson was never coming back. And they would be stuck with Miss Viola Swamp forever. They heard footsteps in the hall. Oh no, here comes the witch, they said. Hello, children, someone said in a sweet voice. It was Miss Nelson. Did you miss me? She asked. We certainly did, cried all the kids. Where were you? That's my little secret, said Miss Nelson. How about a story? Oh, yes, cried the kids. Miss Nelson noticed that during story time, no one was being rude or silly. Miss Nelson noticed, oh, sorry. But what brought about this lovely change, she asked. That's our little secret, said the kids. So Miss Nelson came back and all of a sudden the kids are behaving. I wonder if they feel sorry for how they treated Miss Nelson and want to show her that they can be good children and follow all the rules. Back home, Miss Nelson took off her coat and hung it up in the closet right next to an ugly black dress. When it was time for bed, she sang herself a little song. I'll never tell. And she went to sleep. P.S. Detective McSmog is working on a new case. He is now looking for Miss Viola Swamp. Mm. Okay, so did you guys figure out who Miss Viola Swamp was? Let's look at the clues. They couldn't find Miss Nelson when Miss Viola Swamp was around. They couldn't find Miss Viola Swamp when Miss Nelson was around. Hmm. I wonder what Miss Nelson's using that ugly black dress for. Hmm. The moral of the story is always be kind to your teacher. You guys are the best students ever. You would never behave like that. Um, I love this book. I think it's so funny and cute, and I hope you loved it too. I love you guys, and I miss you, and I will see you again for another story tomorrow.